Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Pathfinder Plays and today we are going to be going over the new update that just dropped for Scum. Let's get into it. A lot of players were unhappy with the long-standing night vision goggles in the game, mainly their display. Light sources were not blinding and they were just slightly less dim than other parts of the map. The green hue itself was also just a bit off. So one of the programmers of the team actually studied and researched various different night vision goggles in real life and then implemented the changes in what you currently see on screen. This is actually a huge improvement for nighttime movement in the game. Many people don't like moving around at night in the game because the light sources provided simply aren't bright enough, they say. This ranges from the torches to the NVGs. But now that is fixed, at least for the NVGs. The night vision goggles will even react in real time to the changing brightness levels of objects such as the headlights of the vehicle or perhaps even lightning strikes. A new animation has been added to all the weapons in the game. They say that this is a continuation of the current check magazine animation in the game, but if you didn't have a magazine inserted, there would simply be a numeric indicator. But now if you have no magazine inserted, your character will check the chamber itself. This will help the game feel just a bit more polished, and I will gladly accept this update. The next update is huge for me because I like playing with a bow and a handgun normally. A problem that has been with the community since the game's conception is that the handgun takes a spot of your bag inventory. Though that may not seem like a big deal, it is if you play the game. You see, when you have your pistol equipped and keep looting, that loot will then take up the space that the pistol once held. So when you switch to another weapon, you will drop the pistol on the ground and not even know it, then leaving it behind. However, now that they have their own holster to go into, much like the arrow quiver for the bow, that will no longer be an issue. You can craft the pistol holster yourself, so there is no need to go around trying to find them. Although I do think that they should make different holsters able to be found around the world because there's police officers who have holsters on their black gear and etc. But this is a good start in the right direction. Along with the functionality of it, it looks rather sexy. Of course, there are a number of bug fixes as well, but I'll go over the ones that I found the most notable. Firstly, they said that the bug was fixed where a person can go invisible. I have never encountered this bug unless they are referring to a person being able to hide in a bush with maxed out camouflage and then go invisible. I'm not sure if that's a feature for the maxed out camouflage or a bug itself, but we will see if that's still a thing. If you guys have encountered that still, let me know in the comments below. Secondly, they fixed a bug that an animal would hit you once and then run away. This is great because now when a black bear comes out of nowhere and tackles you, it will continue to maul your helpless body instead of running back into the trees. Thirdly, milk now gives you vitamin D. Vitamin D helps your bones absorb calcium, so maybe when the bear starts assaulting you, your bones won't break so easily. Along with the great and many bugs they fixed, they also added some quality of life changes, and I'll read them to you now. Added the bash ability to bows, reduced the UMP45 rate of fire from 800 to 600, lowered weapon decay per shot for shotguns and bolt action rifles, made the effect of flashbang grenades much more effective, added better description on expiring chests, added new weapon sway in first person when not aiming, of all rifles giving them more weight. Chest names are now only visible to owners and squad mates, adjusted the amount of animal skin available when skinning animals, added the M1911 into events, nerfed the damage bayonets did to base building elements, adjusted weight on locks, added dirty rags for crafting fire ring blueprint, magazines are now repaired with toolboxes and not weapon repair kits. A lot of great things were added this patch as you all can see and we are just one more update away from the greatly anticipated 5.0 update. Which which will bring with it a bunch of new features to the game and completely change the way you know Scum. And I can't wait. If you want some good servers to play Dead Matter or Scum on, check out my description for that information. Become a member for some great perks at reasonable rates and join my Discord. And as always, if you like scares, survival, and scavenging, consider hitting that subscribe button, that like button, and share this with your friends. And I will see you in the next one. Path out.